Good morning. This is Robert Carsipsian bringing you this morning's market update. U.S. markets ended the week high after positive news from the non-farm payrolls came in on Friday, beating expectations with a reported figure of 215,000. The U.S. 500 added 12 points to close on 2,072 spot 38. The U.S. Tech 100 gained 49 points to close on 4,536 spot 88. And the Wall Street gained 87 points to close on 17,796. Minutes of the Fed's March meeting will be released on Wednesday, giving investors a chance to analyze when the next rate increase may occur. Meanwhile, in the commodities sector, Germany has handed over 40 times more in energy subsidies to heavy industry since 2013 than the UK, highlighting one reason why British steelmakers are in such trouble. Gold declined on Friday following the positive non-farm payrolls dropping $9 to close on $1,222.80. Within the commodities sector, Anglo-American has agreed to sell a 70% stake in a mine in Queensland, Australia, as it looks to raise money from asset sales. The miner has agreed the sell of its, of, of its interest in Foxley Metallurgical Coal Mine to a consortium led by Taurus Fund Management an Australian fund manager that specializes in investment products based on the mined commodities industry. Anglo-American is planning to shed between five and six billion dollars worth of assets by the end of 2016, following 2.1 billion dollars worth being jettisoned in 2015. The rush to unload assets comes as China begins to shift its economy away from production and emerging markets growth falters, causing a shortfall in demand. In Europe, the Germany 30 saw a drop in the index, losing 120 points to close on 9,823 spot 6, while the UK 100 dropped 5 points to close on 6,151 spot 1. With less than three months to the June 23rd referendum on UK membership of the European Union, the signal from the options market is the latest tangible sign of nerves that fears over Brexit are inducing among traders and investors. In the spot currency market, sterling has had a rough ride, buffeted by a mix of Brexit fears and poor data, giving the pound its worst quarter in more than seven years. Sterling's value has slumped 7% in this year on a trade-weighted basis. On Friday, the pound fell to a 16-month low against the euro, leaving the single currency worth 79 spot 6 pence, capping a grim week that saw the UK record its biggest post-war current account deficit. Increasing the current strain in Europe, Greece could again face the threat of being pushed into default and out of the euro area if its current bailout review drags on into June and July. According to European officials monitoring the slow progress of Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras, negotiations with, credit, negotiations with creditors, Greece still hasn't cut a deal on pensions, tax administration or its fiscal gap and other issues like non-performing loans and a proposed privatization fund continue to slow the talks. In today's corporate news, union leaders will meet later today to discuss the steel crisis and help prevent Tata Steel's port Talbot from closing. Ryanair reported traffic to have grown 28% year on year in March while its load factor rose 4% and a leak of confidential documents from one of the world's largest offshore law firms, Mossack Fonseca, has revealed how the world's rich and powerful have been using tax havens to hide their wealth. In today's economic data in focus, at 9.30 in the UK, PMI construction was released for March. At 9.30 in Europe, the Centex Investor Confidence was for April has been released. At 10 a.m. in Europe, unemployment rate for February is released followed by 10.30 producer price index release. At 3 o'clock in the US, labor market conditions index and the factory orders for February are released. That's all for this morning's market update. Thank you and goodbye.